everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is an ASOS haul and this is part one of two, um, mainly because I bought quite a lot of things on ASOS and I didn't think you wanted to watch a 30 minute video. Um, I am filming a couple of videos in the next couple of days to kind of cover the Christmas period because there's a lot going on and I want to make sure I upload weekly. So we're going to have the ASOS part one and part two and hopefully a Shein haul, which I'm hopefully get is going to arrive today or tomorrow so I can film that um and um, you know fingers crossed it's lunchtime now so it might I might get a knock on the door soon so that'd be great so that is my kind of Christmas filming today so if you are it is the same background because I'm trying to get all the videos done for you before I get lazy uh, for the Christmas period one thing I do want to note is that there is a lot of rubbish looking stuff over here it's not rubbish we are moving out and it is actually all my charity donations of clothes and everything like that so I'm just waiting to take it away and that's the only place that it's stored so I do apologize for this mess and there is also no dog today um, in these videos because she's with mum and dad and she don't want to make an appearance this week so I'm going to be here in my festive get up for you instead. I am like I said filming a couple of videos so I'm going to switch out my Christi Christmas tops by using my boyfriend fiance's wardrobe because he's got a couple of Christmas t-shirts so you know it might not be my usual style but we're going to be festive and go with it. Before I start the video, I do just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who has donated either on the GoFundMe page or on the uh, from the Amazon wishlist of the charity Withinsure Safe Spots that I've spoken about in my last two videos. I have recently started volunteering with them, um, trying to get up some social media presence, trying to get some fundraising going, and my mum also volunteers with them as well, Reece, and she started recently. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who has donated, who has even just commented their support, because I know it's not possible for everyone to donate. I will still link the GoFundMe page and the Amazon wishlist below. If you can donate anything, I would really, really appreciate it. The charity is for domestic abuse survivors, so um, I think it is for the women and for children who have either escaped domestic abuse or they are actually still suffering it and they're just getting some support. So the money will go directly to that and providing the support for them. On average, it does cost £150 per person to provide the full kind of start to end support that the charity provide so the money is going to really really good use it's not going to a big conglomerate it's a very local charity to where i am um and it just means the world to me if you could help if you can like i said i understand that it's not possible but even just show your support on social media that would be absolutely fantastic but yes thank you to every single person who has got involved i really appreciate it and the charity has also wanted me to pass on wanted me to pass on their thanks to you um it's just absolutely incredible and i'm absolutely in awe of how many of you have been supportive of it so once i've got past all the admin bits um let's get into the video before i do start please do like and subscribe if you can it really helps my channel and it takes a couple of seconds and then you get a notification when i upload um, and you can just join in the madness straight away i mean what else would you expect so the first item I'm going to show you is the coziest item that I've got and it is this cream jumper with a v-neck. It is so incredibly soft. I don't know if you can tell from the fabric, obviously you can't touch it, but it is so, so soft. Um, I got this actually in a size 26, 28 because I wanted it oversized and I've had a few issues with buying uh, jumpers in a size 22 recently and they're like <laughs> sucking in. So I've gone bigger. This is from Vero Moda and this is either an XXL or a 26, 28 and this was 20 pounds. So I'm just going to throw this one on for you and you can see what it looks like. Okay, and this is the jumper on. Now, first thing I'm going to say, I went up to a size 26, 28, and I'm normally a size 22. So I've sized two to three times up. You probably only need to size up once if you want oversized, because as you can tell, this is quite on the, on the large side. Now, the one thing I will say about this jumper, I love it. It's really soft. It's not itching me. And I get like, I find fabric really itchy really quickly. Um, which is great, but I feel like it's going to misshape really, really easily. So if you pull it, it's not one of those like fabrics that goes back. It just kind of seems to stay as you kind of pull it sort of thing. So just be careful with that because I feel like you wash it once or you stretch it once or, you know, you can contort your body once and it's going to do things. So I'm, I'm not too sure. It is £20. I think that's a really good um, value for a jumper. I'd probably get a lot of use out of but I just don't want to pay money for a jumper that's going to lose its shape really quickly. I don't know. Do I keep it? Do I not? Let me know. So the next thing I'm going to show you is something a little bit different, which are these yoga leggings. And they are a cropped yoga legging. I got them in a size 22 and they were £16. First thing I'm going to say about these are they are so soft. 
and they're like a thick fabric so i feel like they're not going to be see-through which is great but they're just so cozy to feel um i am a bit concerned that they're not going to be long enough so this is the length now i know that they're cropped but on the model they look that they went down to like her lower lower calf uh, which is what i really like slash ankle grazer lower calf and i thought maybe i can pull it off um, I normally go just my normal size in leggings because I don't want them to be big, I don't want them to fall down, but these are so, so soft. Um, so I'm thinking if they fit and for 16 quid, don't feel like bad quality. Um, so let's try these on, I'll put them on this jumper and go from there. Okay, so the leggings are on. Now I just want to show you, this is the sort of length that I like on my leggings normally, so not proper cropped, not full length, this length. But although they look like they fit right now, I have got a little crotch, crutch issue. I say crutch, I don't know. In the middle bit, it is lower than I'd like it to be. So I'm going to have to pull them up to where I think they're meant to sit and, you know, figure that out. That's better. So they fit well now, but they're just too high on the leg for like an everyday wear. They'd be fine for the gym, all that sort of stuff. They're so soft. So I'm, I don't know how to keep them because they are really comfortable. Now, I haven't done a bend test on camera. I have done it off camera and I couldn't see anything. I'm not going to bend over for you now because that's a bit inappropriate. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, I can do that and show you the back. Pretty sure they're, see, they're not see-through, which is great. But they are really comfortable. They're very flexible. I feel like I could do a lot in these. Um, so for £16, I think they're great uh, as you can tell yet again moving too much whilst i'm filming slash very unfit um but i absolutely love these 60 pound do i keep them they are on the shorter side will i get wear out of them probably they're just so soft i wish you could like have feel vision because i love them um but yeah i do really like them and for 16 pounds bargain quality is great style because i love this great they're good on the band, so the band comes up here, which is high enough for me. It's firm, but not like <coughs> pushing in. So I definitely get your size in these ones if you like them. And if you are taller, they are definitely going to be a crop. I'm five foot six and they fit me. Yay. Yay length. So overall, very good. Just need to decide whether I'll get enough use out of them. So the next item that I bought was this green bottle green jumper dress. It is midi length and it is a roll neck it's not a cowl neck it's a roll neck um and it's very jumpery I, I don't know it's a green jumper dress that's what this is um has a belt around the middle now i got this in a size 26 because i was so concerned on the model it was very straight down and i'm not straight down so i wanted it to kind of skim over this bit and this bit um so it wasn't you know like a sausage again um it does have balloon sleeves which are really cute i love a balloon sleeve and it's just really, really pretty. I was hoping this would be great for winter, like with some ankle boots, or even with trainers, you know. See how I'm going, like, scarf, all that sort of stuff. So this, like I said, was a size 26, and it was actually £32. Now, this wasn't on sale, whereas a couple of the other items were on sale. Um, so I'm not sure. It is on the pricier side, but let's try it on, and we'll see if it's worth it. What do we think? Um, personally, probably a no-go for me. Um, I'd, it's not really working, is it? Um, so this is a green jumper dress. Like I said, size 26. It is definitely too big, um, so I'm tying it in. But if we can see this, it's very, you know, one of those paraglider things. Um, definitely not my normal style don't know if it's going to be my style ever again uh, but this is the length the length is actually quite a nice length for me it's where i want it to hit me on the legs so that's a good thing the arms are incredibly long so i mean that's it outstretched if i have it on my my arm the balloon definitely kind of gapes over itself which you know is a normal situation but a bit too much maybe i don't know and then the neck is very kind of although there's room i still feel very like <laughs> so I, I don't think so um the other thing i'll say is it is very itchy like i said 
very very sensitive to itch on fabrics this is giving me the itch um so you know i'm not feeling it there are no pockets which is always you know not a great thing um but there's a tie belt i don't know but for 32 pounds i don't think i'll be keeping this i'm not gonna get much wear out of it i feel like this would be good for like sitting on the couch with it's warm covers everything keeps me cozy but maybe it's too cozy and it's too itchy but definitely i would say size one size up i should have got to say a 24 not a 26 um although it is nice to have all the extra room for christmas dinner and all that sort of stuff but this is definitely a no-go for me okay so the next item i'm going for should i say items is one of my visions that i have and we all know that my visions never work so we're just gonna have to go along with this one yet again um so this is i'll go simple a plain white kind of ribbed under top i don't have any of these mainly because i wear foundation down my neck and anything white just gets ruled out or just gets turned tannish um with this really cute black pinafore dress which i thought was really cute so i thought underneath would look adorable and then to tie the black and white together i went for this dalmatian print belt with a little gold brassy buckle so can you see where i'm going with this so in the white i got a size 22 because i wanted it to be fitted um you know i don't need it baggy under this this was size 22 and this was 11 pounds 99 and this is the brand cotton on um there is a brand in australia called cotton on so i don't know if it's the same one or if it's a different one but that's that. Then the dress I actually got in a size 26 for the same reason I got this dress in a size 26 because it is up down and I didn't want it to be hugging my belly or feeling tight when I sat down or something like that. And this one is ASOS design and it was £25 and it is a short, my arms are too short, it is a short length um, so it's a midi size. And then I went for this belt. Now I got this in a size 28 to 30. Now it is on the bigger side. Luckily I fit the last, like I can put it on the last, like the smallest one. Normally if I go for like a size 22, 24, it still only lets me put it onto like the loosest or second loosest. So I did want one that maybe the buckle could go down and under, not the buckle, but like the, the strap. Um, so I'm gonna try that, but I thought altogether that could be really cute. Don't know how it's gonna look, but please tell me you understand what I'm going for. What do we think? Um, so I'll go through item by item and just explain what's going on so the white under top really nice it is on the thinner side but i quite like that it fits it is fitted so if you're wanting like a looser one don't go for this in your size size up but i do really like this the neckline's nice everything works 11.99 i think that's a really good basic kind of staple in your wardrobe onto the dress i'm so sad because it's just too big like look where the shoulders are meant to sit they're not in where they want to it gapes here but around the belly it's probably the right amount of give that I'd want so unless I could somehow kind of tuck this in that could work um I don't know if I keep this and then the belt is on the big side so what I've, there I've got it there is room in the belt still which I'd like to pull it a bit tighter but I'm on the loosest one so I wish I'd got the size down but it wasn't available so top was 11.99 dress was 25 and the belt was nine pounds 60. if I was wearing black tights I just can't be able to put tights on so you're gonna have to ignore the pasty legs. Would it work if I fix this bit? I don't know. I'm trying to go for something a bit different. Is it too much? Is the top too high? I don't know what's going on. But I think because nothing's really fitting me properly, well, the belt and the, the belt's okay. The dress is a, is a no-go, unfortunately, unless I can somehow fix that. But please let me know in the comments below. What do we think? It also doesn't have pockets, if that changes your mind. Just putting it out there. Okay, so on to my final item and the pièce de résistance of the haul. It's this dress. Now, if you have seen anyone or been on the planet at all or been on ASOS, you'll have seen so many different variations of this dress. It came out in the summer with like a red and pink gingham print, I think. Um, and I really wanted it, but I thought, oh, like I'm only ever going to wear this in the summer. I won't get much wear out of it. I can't put tights with it. Hooey. Um, This I saw on someone else's instagram the girl on instagram i can't remember her name but she was wearing it i was like oh my god i love that then when i was on asos i wasn't searching for it on purpose and it came up i was like oh, it's meant to be one size left a size 20. as we've spoken i am a 22 i can be a size 20 but i'm normally probably a 22 so i'm hoping this fits it looks plenty big enough around the belly so that's not gonna be the concern it might be a kind of under the waist but we'll see 
and it's also incredibly low cut, which as we all know, I don't like. So I am going to be wearing my vest top underneath it and seeing if that works. It is a black background, so I'm hoping having like a, a bandeau underneath will be fine. Um, but I absolutely love this. Don't know what it's going to do figure wise, but it's so cute. So I really hope it works. So please keep everything crossed that this is going to work on me. Eh? I love this. I'm probably going to edit this and be like, oh my god, it's awful. But, oh, it's so cute. Now, as you can tell, I have got my vest top underneath it. I would probably wear a bandeau rather than a vest top because this keeps peeping out. So you wouldn't have that issue. Oh, it's so cute. What do we think? Please, positive vibes. Um, but this is it from the front. And then from the back, you can see it there. Again, you can see my vest top poking out. So it's a not a great idea to have a vest top on, but I was too lazy to put a little bandeau on. But this is just adorable. Now, lengthwise, make sure I don't knock over. It's really nice. It would work in the summer or it would work in winter with tights, I believe. It's just so comfortable. It's so cute. It's not overly tight, like there's plenty of room under the bust, but it is firmer than obviously other places. The arms is plenty of room. It's not too tight with the straps up here. It sits nicely. I think they just perfected it. Now, I know it's horizontal so please future rach when you're editing let me know if it's doing bad things but i think because it's darker it's not as much of an issue i don't know please give me your thoughts i think i ordered a dress like this off shein when the other pink summery one was out that looked like that i didn't work but i'm hoping this one this one works just let me know but i love this so yeah i think it'd be really cute i would spin but it's going to be flash and everything but i just love the floral print as we all know and then it's a leopard print then a polka dot how how cute mixing all your things together i don't know i just love this so this is a size 20 and this was i'll get there 28 pounds um so if it is a dress that i like i'd probably get a lot of wear out of this could wear like a puffer jacket long puffer jacket with it cardigans sleeveless things on its own all the things that makes me want to buy it and can justify paying for this i'm gonna be really sad if i edit this so please future me like it um if not you know you save 28 quid but this is the dress on and this is definitely definitely from my non-editing perspective my favorite dress of the haul and the best thing to end the haul on okay so that is the end of today's video and please please let me know in the comments box below what you liked and what you didn't like please also let me know if there's like this pinafore style that you've seen or that you've bought yourself that you really like i'd love to kind of get something like this my definite star of this video is this dress and i hope future me agrees um though not much was really a massive flop the green dress questionable but could be used as like a like i said a blanket or something that was a little bit itchy um but everything else seemed to work there or thereabouts and it's kind of one of those do i keep it do i not keep it so please let me know in the um description box below description box the comments box below what you thought and i love to reply to all of you again thank you to everyone who comments i see the same names popping up each week and it's so lovely to hear from you all so please keep getting in contact i do respond to everyone that i can as long as they're not either spam or you know i don't know i respond to pretty much everyone else um again can i please just remind you that the links to both the gofundme and the amazon wishlist for the within shore safe spots charity is below in my description box again i really appreciate any help that you're able to provide the gofundme could be a pound it could be two pounds could be 50p anything would help go towards these women in need and again the amazon wishlist has everything on that they really need so women's hygiene babies all that sort of stuff um but i really really appreciate any help you can provide or just the support that you give on my videos is massively appreciated before i go though please let's remind you to like and subscribe the video before you go so you can get notifications and you can stay up to date with all this though if you're at the end of this video i do wonder if you're going to come back um but please please do anyway i hope you're having a lovely week please stay safe and i will see you soon